Welcome to this episode of Locked In. In this episode, Christmas came a little bit early and I wanna put this video out to show you me unboxing some custom Kai Venture bags that they just sent me. I told them just to go nuts and send me a few of their new products that I haven't reviewed as well as some updates on some old ones that I've done as well. I'm gonna be having links in the description below with their handlebar bags, top two bag, and maglock caddy that I already have reviewed. So make sure to check those out. I have a full playlist of that in the description below. So let's unbox this and see what's in the box, how it looks. I told them basically to go nuts with the Locked In theme, let's call it. It. And if you have any questions, please make sure to comment below. I will be doing reviews on all of these items. I want to see your comments so I can address those in the future videos. So let's bust into this unboxing. Alrighty. Okay, so if any of you follow Kai Venture Bags, you know that they always include a little hand-drawn note here. Stay awesome, Kai Venture Bags. And check it out. They even hand-drew all of the bags they sent over. So this is really awesome and a little cool touch that you're gonna get from a company that obviously hand makes all their bags and isn't some you know massive company that's producing these. So let's see what we have in here. Oh yeah, the hotness. <laughs> so let's pull out, this is gonna be the Kai Venture wedgie bag. And, and this is a new thing they've been able to do recently. I don't exactly know when, but I wanna say it's within this year where they picked up a machine that is able to do all these custom cool patches, no matter what you wanna do. So you can buy patches from them custom or add them to a order that you already have. And I will be having links for their website in the description below, as well as follow them on Instagram so you can see all the cool custom bags they come out with. But this is gonna be a wedgie bag. This is gonna fit inside the front triangle. You have your main compartment here. Ooh, and they did the super, super hot pink pink liner, which I really do like. If you don't know why they do a, a real highlight bright color on the inside of any bag, it's so that it's easy to find stuff. So really like that. Tons of looping options down here so you can mount it any which direction. You have your built-in straps, which obviously you can cut down if need be, as well as you have your quick access pocket on the side here for what I usually put in here is gonna be like my wallet or a small multi-tool, stuff you want quick access to. Awesome, okay, let's go into, oh, this is a nice top two bag. So this is gonna be a lot bigger than the one that I have in the review below. And this is gonna add a lot more functionality. I wanted the original one to be a little bit sleeker, but honestly, I, I kind of regret it because I wanted something with more capacity that can carry my phone easily as well as some other items. So, ooh, yeah, check this out. You got the slow but look pro patch on the one side and then the locked in patch on the other. This is really, really awesome. I like that they added the loops here so I can add a shock cord onto this because I do have the bike I'm probably gonna be running this on is slammed. So running the Velcro around underneath a slam stem is kind of difficult sometimes. So having this as an option is great. The hot pink theme fits inside here. And this is really cool. They added an additional flap so you can basically separate the storage so I can have it fully open if I wanted or closed to separate some items. And they even have a little pocket in here which I really like to separate for maybe some mini cables or some nun tablets or things like that. Really, really cool, digging that a ton. All right, so a new minimalist handlebar bag. Ooh, and the offset stripe. I haven't seen this before, so this is cool. So if you look at this, it actually kind of rotates around at an angle. So that's something that's really different, and I think that's a really cool, unique design. I haven't seen that yet. So this is still out of the Cordura that my original bag was out of. Still retains the loops that everybody knows. If you've watched any of my videos, I really do like these. So that, hang on. So let me add something to this. And as you can see here, this is my Slow But Look Pro pins. Links for all this is gonna be in the description below on my spreadsheet. And I'm gonna be adding this to the front. And this is why, one of the reasons why I really like having these front loops so I can quickly add this on here and still retain functionality and carry a light as well. All right, so there we have it. And that looks really, really good. And again, why I like these little loops for little trinkets like this. So this is gonna have the same great features as the original bag. Let's see here. Still retaining the hot pink on the inside and they updated, ooh, even a purple lanyard strap for your keys. This is cool. So definitely a nice upgrade for the new year. Then we have the snack caddy. This is new to me and I've been really excited to try this out. I really do like this bungee cord system on the top here. And I really do like their bags because it has a lot more functionality with the pockets on the sides. They are a lot more usable than some of the other caddies you're gonna get which don't have any or have very small ones or only one on the front. This gives you a lot more storage capacity on this. Again, you're gonna have loops all around here to keep things intact or slide things through here to make it easy to keep them in the pockets as well. And again, you can see another locked in custom patch on there. You got your drawstring top to keep things contained if need be. And another hot pink liner as well as, oh nice. And it even has a drain port. So if you do spill anything in here, water's gonna leak all the way through. That's pretty nice. And you have your multiple mounting style sections here as well as on the side. So you can easily mount it to a stem or whatever else you see fit. So this is definitely something I'm gonna be using. You've probably seen around on some other channels. I really have been digging it and waiting to pick one up. So I'm super hyped on this. I'm really excited to try all these bags out and follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna be posting 
a picture of these fully loaded on my bike because I think the combination of all of these together is going to look really, really clean and add some functionality to my bike. So I hope you like this video. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and turn notifications on so you can see all the content that I produce on this channel. In the month of December, I'm doing like four or five videos a week and I'm working like a madman. So I hope everyone appreciates it as well as you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as well as you can support the channel via my spreadsheet like I mentioned in the links below as well as on Patreon where I do offer cool bike consultations for my top two tier levels. And lastly, thanks for watching another episode of Locked In. Let's get locked in.